going to cover the install on the 7 inch drip lock rack system. A couple of quick notes that we're going to show you real quick while he's getting ready. Is whenever we ship our rack systems out, you'll notice that we have two pillows. This is a 7 inch system which holds two pillows, or double deep system. When we ship them, there's two pillows sitting side by side. Don't let that confuse you. That's just for shipping purposes only. Whenever we install these things, you're going to see us lay the pillows out flat and stack them one on top. Now, one thing we're going to do here is we've got our existing grease box already removed. We've got an offset mounting bracket. The key is we'll want to center that underneath the main drain. What he's going to do is punch that first hole first. Now with drip lock we have self-tapping screws, 3 8 on all of our systems, make it simple. What he's going to do is he's going to kind of level up this top row first and then he'll work his way down. Alright, finish it up to last. We've got nine screws for the mounting bracket. Make sure and use all of them. Now one thing that's interesting on this particular install is the deflector, if you look at it from a side view, we had a couple of obstacles. One is we've got this bottom edging that traces around here, goes around. Also, we've got an existing hinge that keeps us from getting too far over. So if you look back, if I get squared up, you'll notice this, this uh, mounting bracket is sitting just a little bit left to center. I'm going to show you a way that we can kind of clean that up here in a second. The other thing too is we're going to go ahead and set the rack system on there. I'm not going to worry about pulling the pillows and stuff out. But because of this bracket down here at the bottom, well, whenever we zipped it in, it raised the feet up. A lot of times what will happen is, is that's going to put your rack up in the air. Which is great to show this because we actually have an adjustment that we're going to teach you guys real quick. So, again, let me see if I can get a little bit lower. So he's going to test that rack system. The way this thing goes is there's a front edge, a rolled edge, and it slips up underneath. And you can see it's kicked him out, so it's a little bit too tight. So what he's going to do is he's going to grab, and watch the adjustment on there. No big deal. He's just going to fold this down just a little bit. You can use these for raising the front end of the uh, rack system up or down. There's a lot of variation in these things. So, now once he gets that rack system on, he's feeling pretty good about that. There's also an optional deflector shield. Depending on the type of curb that you've got, well, let me rephrase this. The idea is, you could take a deflector shield and you really don't have a whole lot of room on the curb. But, in a perfect world, we would slip this deflector shield back in behind here and it would funnel the grease down. Truth of the matter is, because of this setup, we know that the grease is going to come out and is already down spatting down good inside of the rack system. So it's not necessarily needed in this one. That's kind of an option for you guys. I would say this, if you see around the drain spout, grease on the deck, around here, or busted seams where it's peeling out, that's a good place for that deflector shield to go so that it redirects the grease back into the middle of the box. Now, when we go for installing the actual pillows, a couple of keys with this rack system. I talked earlier about having them side by side during shipping, not to confuse that. What he's gonna do is lay his pillow out nice and flat. This is an important key to get. Whenever he lays in his very first layer, he just levels that pillow off. So if you could look through the pillow, you'd see, we'll call it two inches of filter media all the way across it key is he wants to make sure that he ensures that this bottom drain is nice and covered. From there he's going to install his second layer, second filter into the system. He's also keeping those bags. We'll use those for, particularly if we were swapping out an old filter, we'll use those for throwing the old filter into, scraping up grease, things like that. You already got kind of a trash bag on the roof and we use those a lot whenever we're doing services. Now on the second pillow, if you noticed, he kind of bolded out a little bit in the middle of it. He's making a sweeping motion. And if you look at this rack, what you'll see is the inside of it has a low valley. The outside's kind of got the high points. And the idea is so that 
as the grease and water accumulates, it'll land in the middle of the filter and it kind of backfills its way up. Again, the key is you always want to make sure that you've got good filter media up in front of that drain. If you don't, then you do not have filtration going on. He's going to snap on his lids, wind it up. Complete install usually takes somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 8 to 10 minutes.